Okay, I'm going to start with the module file, and this is where Zend will first bootstrap and load up our module and configure it. So the first thing we need to do is specify that this is a PHP file. We simply want to put that at the top. The next thing that we want to do is give it a namespace. And I want that to match my folder name, which is book list. And then, like any good object-oriented class, we want to give our class a name, and this should be named module. Okay, so that's just kind of the basics. And I'm going to do some cutting and pasting now, just kind of in for the sake of time. But go ahead and make sure you pause and get all this information entered before you move on. So we're going to kind of go through um, a bunch of coding through the rest of this course. So make sure that you kind of follow along with some of this stuff. The first thing that we'll do is we need to add two functions. The first one is going to be the git autoloader auto config. And the second one is the git config. If you remember from our previous slide, the git autoloader config determines how we load our classes in our module. And so this is where we are going to utilize our autoload underscore classmap.php file that we added, as well as the Zen standard autoloader. So that's kind of a, a lot of code that I just pasted in there. So we can talk about this really briefly here. Essentially, we're going to return an array out of here. And the first element in the array is our autoload class map.php. This is where we'll be able to add custom autoloading if we need to for our project. And since this is ultimately going to return a empty array, we will then fall back on the second element in this array, which says that we're going to utilize the Zend standard autoloader to load up our class pass. And it's using some reserved words here that Zend knows about saying, hey, in this namespace, go ahead and look inside of the source folder as well as that namespace. So if you, for some reason, want to configure your module slightly differently, this is where you'd want to tell the standard autoloader where your classes are. But if you named all your folders the way that I have, then you should be fine using the standard autoloader configured this way. The git config method is going to rely on our module.config.php file that we added. And that's typically where we add information about our controllers and other aspects of our model view controller stack. For now, this is just going to make a call into the config module.config.php file. So let's go ahead and save that. And that should consist of the module changes at this point. And let's go ahead and go over to our autoload class map file. And we want to add some information in there so that our files load correctly. And this will be a simple PHP script that returns an empty array. Let's go ahead and save that. And the last thing that we want to do is come up to our config module.config.php file and we want to add in some information here just so that we can utilize it later on. Essentially we want to return an empty array for now. But ultimately that array is going to get loaded with a bunch of other information that tells us about our controllers and our routes and a bunch of other stuff.